Welcome to our demonstration on enabling VMware vSphere Distributed Resource Scheduler, or DRS, and VMware vSphere High Availability, or HA. DRS continuously monitors utilization across vSphere servers and intelligently allocates available resources among virtual machines according to business needs. HA provides easy-to-use, cost-effective high availability for applications running in virtual machines. In the event of physical server failure, Affected virtual machines are automatically restarted on other servers with spare capacity. In case of a VM guest operating system failure, HA restarts the affected virtual machine on the same physical server. Let's begin with enabling DRS. We first click on vCenter, go to Cluster 02, and click Manage. Here we notice that DRS is currently turned off. To turn it on, we click Edit, and check the Turn on vSphere DRS checkbox. Here we see three options for automation, manual, partially automated, and fully automated. In manual mode, DRS displays recommendations on where to initially place VMs and where to migrate VMs. It is up to the administrator to actually place or migrate the VMs based on the DRS recommendations. In partially automated mode, DRS automatically places VMs when they are deployed to the cluster but only makes recommendations on where to migrate VMs when there is contention for compute resources. In fully automated mode, DRS balances workloads across the cluster without administrator intervention by automatically placing VMs when they are deployed and automatically migrating VMs as necessary. Once DRS is enabled, we can check its health by clicking on the Summary tab. Here, we see the cluster is currently balanced. Now, we will enable vSphere HA. For this, we go to Cluster 02 and click vSphere HA under Services. As HA is turned off, we click Edit and turn it on by clicking the checkbox. Here, Enable Host Monitoring is checked by default. We'll enable VM Monitoring to monitor the guest operating system of the virtual machines. Now that vSphere HA is enabled, we will demonstrate one of its capabilities. Recovering VMs from a host that has failed. Here, we have two virtual machines. Windows VM3 and Linux VM4 running on host number 5. To simulate a host going down, we power off that host. Now we see that host number 5 is showing some alarms. Next, we'll check the status of the virtual machines that were running on host number 5. We can see that Linux VM4 and Windows VM3 are currently powered off, as the host they were running on is down. After only a few minutes have passed, we see that vSphere HA has powered those virtual machines back on another host in the cluster. Windows VM3 is now running on vSphere host number 4. On taking a look at Linux VM number 4, we see that it is currently running on vSphere host number 6. This concludes our demonstration on enabling VMware vSphere Distributed Resource Scheduler and VMware vSphere High Availability. Thank you.